Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is the 21st video of our LZH Project series and we will continue our journey into the storage world. We have already covered FDisk and Parted and this time it's time for LVM, Linux Volume Manager. Uh, well, I think uh, this will be a two video uh, coverage for this LVM because I just m want to make sure that you guys understand the logic behind it and it's really important because uh, nowadays uh, it's uh, like LVM is everywhere so uh, anyway first uh, we would like to uh, check like let's start and check with our df-h command so we have our three uh, drives right now uh, SDA1 it's the primary drive uh, we are not going to touch it but for drive SDB1 and SDC1 let's remove them uh, first with parted and device SDB1 or SDB and print okay I would like to remove it RM1 is uh, 1 is the number and RM is to use to remove but it's not going to remove it because I think it's mounted right now and yes uh, it says that the says SDB1 is being used so let's quit and let's you mount uh, device SDB1 okay now run part it again and print RM1 okay print device is gone quit need to do the same with SDC part uh, U mount SDC or SDC and then <coughs> parted day with SDC print and remove one print to make sure and quit df hyphen df dash h okay f disk dash l grep will reveal that the devices exist like SDB and SDC and but they are not uh, mounted anywhere and they are deleted so now to create LVM uh, we will use these two uh, devices and uh, these two drives in LVM world uh, these are known as like the hard drives are known as physical volumes or PVs so let me give you one uh, explanation like not one explanation let me give you some explanation regarding LVM basically LVM it's an awesome tool and it helps to add more storage uh, while system is running you don't need to shut down the system and it you can use it to increase the space uh, of storage we can use uh, we can use partitions or we can use physical hard drives as I already mentioned that they are called PVs uh, for this uh, uh, LB for LVMs to work and basically how LVM works it's take basically physical volumes and put that uh, capacity to volume group and then this volume group is used with the help of logical volume and we work with logical volume basically so what uh, I mean is that we create physical volume uh, like we use physical volume then we create um, uh, out of these physical volumes basically uh, we take uh, volume uh, we make volume groups and then from volume groups we use logical volume or LVs and basically these LVs are kind of partitions and we use uh, we work with LVs so the volume uh, group can be added and subtracted by adding more storage devices and that's how basically LVM works so basically in our case we have two PVs 
like SDB and SDC and out of these two PVs we will create one volume group and from this volume group we will create a logical volume and then we uh, will use uh, this volume uh, logical volume so let's start okay to check our drives again f disk and dash l and grab sd and uh, we have here disk sdb and sdc so we need to create partitions for them uh, so let's use f disk um, slash sdb and we need to make new partition primary uh, I will go with default like one of course uh, I'll just go with default press enter press enter and write okay now if I go and check F disk again I'll issue the command okay so SDB one is created and now we will do the same with SDC new primary first partition default default and write okay df h will not reveal because it's there and uh, they're not mounted but f disk dash l less will reveal that the devices like the partitions are created and they are default to linux 83 like the idea okay we haven't created any file system yet and and we know we don't need to create it uh, so now let's create uh, the physical volume and to create physical volume we use pv create command and by default lvm is present in uh, linux the version we use is lvm2 lvm1 is obsolete and to create physical volume we just use pv create and the device name so sdb and uh, we have one partition which we create we work with partition actually and it says that ext4 signature detected because if you remember we used this partition uh, earlier and made a uh, file system on it so that's why it's just uh, warning us that the file system will be erased and yes we are not using it okay so it says physical volume sdb1 created let's do same with sdc1 and so we have now physical volume sdc created and to display this physical volume we use pv display and you can see okay let's less it to pipe here we have uh, sdb1 uh, the, above, the first on the top it's the system uh, partition so we are not looking at that we'll start from sdb1 and this new physical volume sdb1 2 gigs is the size and then sdc1 also so now we have two physical uh, volumes okay and to remove these physical volumes if you just want to remove you can use pv remove a command and then the of course the volume name sdb1 let's say so anyway i'm not going to remove them you can also add these uh, we uh, create this physical volumes in one single line like pv create slash dev slash sdb1 space slash dev slash sdc1 and there are a number of ways anyway and to sum to check the summary we use pvs dash verbose command and let's pipe to less and here we can see that it gives the summary and uh, the device name dev sdb1 lvm uh, the attribute uh, there is a and then there is uh, a means active actually uh, the size uh, and it's p free it's uh, everything is free because we haven't created any volume yet and then the uid 
So let's move forward and create uh, volume groups. To create volume groups, it's simple. Let's use VG create. And then name of the volume, let's say VG test or VG, VG0, any volume uh, you would like to create. And then what um, drive we are going to use, SDB1. Like basically it says create uh, volume group out of this device. Press enter and it has been successfully created. Okay. Okay, and same way we can check like VGS, uh, like summary of this volume. Uh, VG test is uh, 2.0 gigs and VG display to less and we can see we have VG test it's LVM2 and the physical extent side is 4 megabytes it's basically the physical extent is multiple of the total so it gives you 4 multiplied by uh, 525 it's like 2 gigs and now what we are going to do is we will move forward and create okay, our logical volume but uh, let, let me show you how we can extend this size at the moment you can see it's 2.5 gigs and to extend this volume we just create this one volume and we will work with this volume we will add more physical drives to it so we don't need to create volumes again and again so we have just created one volume vg test and now i would like to at the moment you can see clearly that it's two gigs because only one hard drive is added so let me add one more drive uh, to this and then we can check the size with the vg display okay to increase the volume we use vg extend command okay and then where we would like to add it's vg test of course uh, the volume uh, group we just created and from which physical drive i would like to give sizes to it and it's of course sdc1 wow that's good that's uh, vgs we have one volume okay and you can see that now it's showing four gigs that's how simple it is to extend the volume and with VG display, display by two less. okay so it's 4.10 gigabytes or gigabytes anyway so this is how it's that simple to increase or extend volume and I think I'll just keep it simple in one video so okay now let's create our uh, logical volume so to create logical volume we will use lv create and then what size we want so we have created one big volume which test and we have extended it also and now we would like to create logical volume out of this volume group and to create it let's create the size Okay, out of 4 GB, I'm just going to use 1 gigabyte, and I'm going to give it name of, uh, let's say, logical volume 1. So, I think it's simple. And out of VG test, I'm taking this. Okay, LV is created, and to check, again, we use LVS. And there it is, like it's LV1, VG test is the volume group. And W is writable, A is again active. So I is inherited, actually, these switches are. And now uh, at uh, on the top, you can see it's uh, O option, which means open. And our logical volume is not open yet because we haven't written any file system on it. So let's write a file system on it. And it's really simple. We just use uh, make uh, fs dash t 
ext4 we can use it and the same way we used uh, dev and we can see we have this vg test and lv1 okay okay it's done and now if we take a look at um, lvs okay it's not mounted yet so let me mount it on something so but if we check it right now fdesk slash l plus okay go down go down and we have slash dev mapper okay and there it is vg test dash lv1 so this means it's created and uh, let's create um, make dir uh, vl1 test folder okay and what we would like to do is mount dash txt4 and devices my vg test and lv sorry lv1 and i would like to mount it on vl1 test cool so now if we go to vl test there is lost plus found means it's a storage device and we can here we can create any directory now make um e pgs okay so that's how uh, this lvm works and it's pretty simple you can create lots of volumes if you if you like you can create more uh, out of the same volume group you can create more uh, logical volumes and you can use it as a separate drive so and you can extend it also so thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoyed it and please do subscribe and also do comment thank you and goodbye